And the truth is we're living in a time where I think there's a susceptibility to these things. We're living in a time of financial crisis. We're living in a time where we have the first African-American president, which is a positive reflection of our country, but it also sets off those folks who have racist uh, mentalities. And so, and then we have the anti-immigrant flavor that's there that again can set off certain elements in society. So we have a combination of things which uh, create almost a perfect storm for the right-wing extremists to try to either set off individuals or even mobilize organized groups. Well, there are thousands. There are thousands. Uh, they represent what we consider one of the main threats of violence in this country, which are what we call lone wolves. These are, in, we talk a lot in international terms of terrorism or organizations that foster terrorism, that spread terrorism. But in many ways, some of the greatest threats come from individuals who may pick up the ideology of hatred from the organizations, but they're out on their own. They're unaffiliated in many cases. Some of them are affiliated, some are not, but they act on their own. And so they think on their own after absorbing information, and then they act on their own. And they're, they're very unpredictable. Uh, and, that was, and there's a random element to it, so that's what makes it particularly dangerous.